Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Fish Noob. This week's episode is kind of a sad one. Um, as the title states, it's it's been a been a hard week. Um, my planted tank here, uh, as you can see, I've got my five neon tetras, no problem there. However, I've had over the last week and a half or so, I've had a guppy die male and female about every two to three days one of them will just die I don't know why I did water tests again this morning uh, everything looks fine got a little bit of nitrates going on but nothing you know I think it's like uh, five to ten parts per million or something like that you know just barely above the the lowest mark so um, I took one of the guppies the one that I seen dead this morning and I put him into a Ziploc bag, threw him in the freezer, and I'm going to take him down to my local fish store and see if they can maybe help me out with what's going on with these guys. But like I said, I mean, all these, these Tetras here, they're doing fine. Um, all my plants are growing just fine. The snails are fine. Um, I mean, everything, the shrimp, the shrimp are doing good. You know, I even found a molt to a couple of them this week. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just losing the guppy every couple days, like clockwork. So I don't know what's going on. So, other than that, I still haven't named these tanks yet. I've been trying to come up with some names that aren't too cheesy. The trouble we had in this tank, so I had a uh, piece of dragon stone. Let's see if I can find what I did with it, of course not. Um, that I bought some Christmas moss for. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Yeah, here's our problem. So I had a piece of uh, a dragon stone about the size of a softball in here. And I had gotten this Christmas moss. And I had tied it around it because there's some ghost shrimp in here and a mono shrimp. See if any of them guys are out. They usually hide in this coral right here. Oh, you can kind of see the antennas to one of them right in between the, the real plant and the blue. But, you know, so that they had a place to hide. And there's also a baby snail in here now. Uh, I think it's a mystery snail. Of course, I can't see him. And then in the, the planted tank, there's also a baby snail, a little uh, baby rabbit snail, so that's cool. At least we had a couple of births, along with the deaths. So, but back to my story. So I had that Christmas moss wrapped around there, and I come home from work, I think Wednesday, and I was looking, and then one of these mollies, uh, I think it was this one, was actually trying to eat a goldfish. So I got to looking at him and he is beat to hell. Like there's some scales laying down in the tank and you know he's got you can kind of see all these marks on him. So his fins are beat to crap. You can see that sore there. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna ask the fish store about that too. Because he's the whole reason we started this whole thing. So I think he got wedged in between the dragon stone and just beat the tar out of himself because he's not very smart, you know, trying to get out of there. One day I seen him kind of wedged in between here and the glass in that, you know, that battleship there. So I moved him away from the glass a little bit. So yeah, has, hasn't been a good week in the, the fish newbie verse, unfortunately. So, I don't know if you guys got any comments, maybe ideas what's going on with this tank. You know, like I said, water tests are fine, the Tetris do fine, everything else is fine, just a guppy, like, like clockwork. Every day and a half, two days, maybe three days, one of them dies. Just one. So, let me know, comments down below, um, and uh, I'll see if I can do another video next week and do an update of what's going on, see what I found out, see if everything's died, see if we had more births, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.